I think that's bad one. Bad one, bad one, come here. Bad one is so healthy and happy. So nice waking up to this view. Yeah. Did you have a good sleep last night? Yeah, it was quite nice. It was only about maybe 4 a.m. when there was an orchestra of frogs <laughs> that lasted maybe 30 minutes, but it's quite interesting. But it's just the sound of nature and then the roosters. Yeah. Around, was it like 7 o'clock? Mm -hmm. Which was the perfect time to get up anyways because we wanted to see a little bit of the sunrise. So the resort we're staying at in Medang here is called Leipu Duna and it's a beautiful teak house. There's only four rooms in this building here and in the whole resort but it's in a beautiful location in the middle of the rice fields here and you don't see many other resorts or hotels in this area. I think Medang is a bit not as popular for tourists. Um, you can come for like a day trip to the famous Buatang Sticky Waterfall, which is only 15 minutes from here. Or where we went yesterday, there was a newly renovated temple. Yeah, called Wat Banden. And that was gorgeous. When you walk into that temple it feels like you're walking into the grand palace in bangkok mm -hmm. it just everything was so colorful it's so grand and it's free entry and i think more and more people are coming to medang to see that but yeah medang is an upcoming destination in chiang mai for sure you ready ready let's <laughs> <laughs> Let's go towards the coconut plantation first yeah. because the guy here told me that we can get fresh coconut there. Yeah, let's do that. Wow, this feels so nice and fresh in the morning. Yeah, perfect temperature. The coconut uh, farm should be just ahead of us. I can already see it. Yeah. But then this one here is a banana plantation. All the baby bananas here. Oh, it's all green here. It's all green. These are uh, young rice. They grow them here and then they will collect them and transfer them into the, the field. So they have to first clear this, right? Yeah. And then turn it and then move this over there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Young and you can rice. see our uh, hotel right there. Mm -hmm. so you know, neat. if I was a rapper, uh -huh. you know what name I would go for? Young Rice. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's such a cool, cool rapper name. Note, aka Young Rice. <laughs> We are here! We're here! They are harvesting the coconut right now, babe. Wow. They're doing it by hand because these trees are low. So how do they do it? Let's go see. Oh. Good thing the coconut floats, huh? <laughs> so when they drop it in there, they can still get it. I've never seen such low coconut trees. 
that you can just harvest just like this with a normal kind of size stick. Because in some way, the trees are higher, so they have these extra long sticks to harvest them. Or, of course, sometimes you also see them um, have monkeys, monkeys to go up to get them. But the real boss of this place, I think, are the dogs. You see that dog watching them and making sure that they're doing a good job, and he moves with them after each tree. It's super cute. You want to try the coconut? Mm -hmm. She said we can try them. I just have to go get the, the machete at her house. Oh. <laughs> we don't need to use the machine? No, I'll go get the, the machete. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Got it. Now I'm going to get the machete. She said, choose the one you like. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe that one. That one over there. You know how to open it, though? I know. Y you know? I, I think I know. You must have very confident. <laughs> this is so neat. Sometimes they say the uglier the fruit, the sweeter. That one's pretty ugly. Oh. I don't know if you're doing it right, but you look like you're doing a great job. So uh, I had a chat with the lady. She said that they collect two to six hundred coconuts a day. Isn't that insane? Yeah, and they, that's a lot. They send it to hotels around Chiang Mai. And what they usually do, they use that machine in the front and cut the coconut and they immediately soak it in water so that this white spot mm -hmm. doesn't turn brown. Oh, I'm going to put it in there. <laughs> oh, but, but here, right? Yeah. Oh. She said, peel it from the bottom. <laughs> not from the <laughs> God damn it, I thought I know how to do it. Oh. Wow, so quick. Wait, that side doesn't really oxidize as fast. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> wow, it's so heavy. Oh. oh. So if I peel it from the side that I did, yeah. you have to go so deep to get to the meat. Oh. But on the other side, it's thinner. But technically, it's not wrong. <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, a harder way to do it. Ah. That's so yummy. Wow, <laughs> that is so delicious. It's so interesting that they have a coconut farm here, but they also have tilapia farm. Oh, and there's a lot of fish. You can see just so much action on top of the water here. We saw a few locals come in mm -hmm. and just get fresh fish from here. It was 70 baht a kilo. Yeah, so like she cheap. Got four big tilapias for 300, I think it was 300 baht, 310 mm -hmm. baht or something. And you know how much the coconut costs here if you come and get it from the farm? 13 baht each. 13 baht each. And this then- This is like 80 baht at a restaurant. Yeah. Fifth. Fancy restaurant would be 120 mm -hmm. baht probably. Maybe we should just sell coconut. It's such a good profit margin. <laughs> we know the source now. <laughs> The lady said her dog can peel the coconut better than me. <laughs> Just have to throw the coconut and he will chase after it. <laughs> wow, look at this bird. He finished the whole coconut. <laughs> Now he just needs to learn how to crack it and drink it. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. I want that dog home. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We 
have a quick and exciting announcement. We are planning our first group trip for later this year or early next year, and we want you to join us. For the last three years, you have seen us eating our way through Southeast Asia, meeting a lot of local people along the way, and find the most beautiful places to stay. And maybe at some point you thought, I would like to travel like Flo I know. So that's why we're planning this group trip to share our joy of traveling and also to meet some of you who have been following our journey and supporting us the last couple years. Whether it's revisiting Thailand, Vietnam, Nepal, or discovering a completely new country together, we are so excited to go on this adventure with you. But to make this trip possible, we need your help to fill out a quick survey, which will take less than two minutes to let us know where you want to go with us, what is your budget, and when is the ideal time to go. The earlier we have this information, the better prices we can secure and get this trip rolling. We'll leave this survey link in the description box below. Please fill it out sooner rather than later as we'd love to pick a trip next week. We are so curious to see where you want to go with us. A lot of people come to Medeng because it has a lot of elephant sanctuaries, probably the most elephant sanctuaries in the province of Chiang Mai. And the one we are going to specifically is called Kanta Elephant Sanctuary. And there is a very special someone, someone that we want to go meet there. And that's why we are choosing this one in particular. And they also are very ethical sanctuary um, and you'll see more once we get there. Are you excited? Yes, I'm so excited to see my sister. I haven't seen her for years. We used to be so close back then when my mom and I used to live in Pai. So I'm very excited to see her. And she's been living at Kanta for quite a few years yeah. now, right? At least a decade? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they have been taking good care of her. Yeah, I want to see her. I want to see if she remembers me. You can see them from here already. Yeah. Can you tell which one is your sister? I, think, I know. I think, I think that's Ban Wat. She's tall and she has freckles on her nose. Like a lot of them have freckles. Mm -hmm. But Ban Wat has specific pattern and her ears are like sloped up like that. I think that's the one. She looks like the biggest one. Yeah, but she used to be so, well, not skinny, but she used to be smaller. <laughs> so they definitely fed her well and she got a lot bigger. So we even wrote here, Kanta Elephant Sanctuary. It is for seeing, feeling, and touching the elephants in the wild open space. And their mission is to provide as many elephants as possible with good health, freedom, happiness they deserve, and definitely... No riding. Yeah, no riding, no hooks, no ankle chains. They're trying to educate not just the tourists, but also, I think, Thai people of how to have a relationship with the elephants. But yeah, this is what the sanctuary is trying to do, is to show people how we should be treating the elephants with care, love, and respect. We got a locker to put our bag and you have to change into this cute <laughs> elephant outfit. It's so cute. Yeah, both um, your top and bottom. Look at that. Nice. And they say, Kanta Elephant, elephant. Sanctuary. Oh, <laughs> Wow, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad she has all the space. Not only they have this, but they have banana plantation there. So to they have feed all unlimited the... <laughs> bananas to eat. Yes. That's her. So well loved. Because I remember her, she's the most gentle elephant I have ever met. <laughs> And she's also the cleanest now because everyone <laughs> loves her. Mm. 
She's going too close, just in case she doesn't remember me. Come on. Wow. I wonder how old she is now. Would your mom know? Probably. Wow. 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 Definitely your sister then. Yeah, she's five years older than me. I'm your sister-in-law. <laughs> oh, there. See, see, see her freckles. She's the most beautiful one. And what is this floor? Wow. Wow. You can see like emotion in her eyes. Elephants are so majestic. Do you like me? Is that why you're coming closer? Oh, you have um, the other ones coming out now. Yeah, these ones are much smaller than Bangwan. Is she the oldest one here, you think? Yeah, she's the oldest one. So is she kind of like... Is she with me? I'm 10 years old. I'm 10 years old. She's a little bit older. แล้วจะมีลูกช้างอีกหนึ่งตัวแต่ไม่ใช่ลูกของเขาจะเป็นที่มีด้วยกันเรา mom would be so happy to see her I should FaceTime her I should FaceTime her before our group arrives เด็กเจอพี่สาวไหมอมาด is so healthy and happy <laughs> she's very happy. She's very happy and she's very gentle and she's very popular. Everybody loves her. She's yeah, happy. Look happy, yes. And she loves being with people too. She's not shy. Oh, yeah. And she has 16 other friends. <laughs> I must still feel like um, guilty that I leave her there. No, they take good care of her. See that one? Mm -hmm. Tossing the dirt onto the back? Is that for cooling down? To chase away the flies. Oh. And also protect them from the flies biting them. So he's not being naughty? No, no, no. <laughs> he's just, it's like their own mosquito repellent. That's so cool. Yeah, nature is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's like how did they know how to do this? Hey, you hit me! <laughs> you just threw a rock at me! Hey, catch! <laughs> you didn't catch it! Oh, it's super dry! I thought for sure you're gonna catch it. <laughs> I was gonna hit it back to you like that. We're gonna this go grab our bags bamboo. with uh, different food to feed the elephant. Oh, come on. Who do you want to feed first? Of course, Bangla. Oh, but there is a cute one there that has like flowers on the head. <laughs> I think it's pretty neat that we're here at the elephant sanctuary, but visiting your elephant from your childhood. It's like extra special. And you, you think I'm cool now? I always thought you were cool. I think the first week I met you, you already showed me photos of your elephants. I was like, whoa. Very exotic man. You can see them like this. 37. Oh, 
She does like yeah. she does like yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. glad you don't like you can eat it like that. Oh, How cool kid watermelon cheese. Wow. Wow, she loves it. Wow. <laughs> ที่ครับแล้วที่นี่มีช้างเชือกตัวผู้ไหมอ่าส่วนมากไม่ค่อยได้ออกมาครับช่วงนี้ตกมันปกติของเขาเขาจะอยู่ตัวเดียวโดดๆอยู่แล้วแหละแม้แต่อยู่ในธรรมชาติเห็นไหมครับช้างผู้ช้างผู้จะอยู่ตัวเดียวโดดๆไม่งั้นก็อยู่แค่2เชือกแค่นั้นหัวหน้ากลุ่มคือตัวเมียไม่ใช่ตัวผู้อีกอย่างหนึ่งคือเขาไม่อยากอยู่ใต้อนัตอํานาจของผู้หญิงไม่เหมือนคนจริงๆพี่อะไรเรื่องจริงใช่เหมือนเหมือนช้างแอฟริกาเหมือนกันช้างแอฟริกาก็ตัวพวกก็จะอยู่โดดๆเร็วๆเขาจะเขาจะมารวมฝูงเฉพาะตอนตอนที่ผสมพันธุ์แค่นั้นตอนนั้นแค่นั้นอย่างเดียวครับ So I can't tell you exactly how much they can eat in one day because you're not gonna see them stop eating even though we're not gonna give them more yes they're gonna try to find the food to eat by themselves more I learned quite a few things just now that was very informative Did you know that elephants are pregnant for almost two years? Yes. That's a long <laughs> time. And then the baby stays with the mom only for three years, and then is independent. Mm. That's What else did crazy. you learn? I also learned that they eat 10% of their body weight. So most of the Asian elephants are roughly like four or five tons, or three to five tons. So that's 10% mm -hmm. of that. So what we were feeding was so little; it was not even a snack. And they only sleep for four hours. It's not interesting. They spend most of their time eating. Eating, and then they eat, and then they poop, and then they poop while they're eating, and then eating, 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 <laughs> and sleep for four hours. That's so crazy. We're gonna feed the elephant um, with the banana trees now. They said because the temperature is cooler now. There's moisture in the banana trees, so it gives them, like, helps with their digestion. Because I think the number one problem for elephants is their digestion. Mm -hmm. When they have problems with that, then they get constipated, and then the staff here would have to like go in and grab their yeah. poo out. I have done that before. You did? Yeah, stick my whole hand in b a n g w a t In b a n g w a t You want to do it again? <laughs> no. <laughs> And the baby elephant Joy. Yeah. She passed away because of stomach problem as oh, well. Oh, yeah. They said that's the biggest concern is is the digestion of the elephant. This is the elephant protein, producing from many kinds of bean. And you know, elephant they doesn't eat meat, but they still need the protein. We're gonna make some protein balls. Yes. For the elephant, so you have to uh, remove the peel from the banana, but you leave the peel back in there. And then there's also um, some salt in there, some of their other supplements, and then tamarind is what kind of glues it together. So these balls are just full of fiber and supplements and important minerals that they need, like sodium. They say that in nature, the animals will know where to go to get sodium, but because these elephants, they—it's not their natural habitat. You know what I mean? To be like in the wild, they have been taken care of by humans for so long, so they don't know how to intake enough sodium or maybe too much sodium. So they. Control the amount of sodium they consume. Uh, basically, everything is just to help them be regular. <laughs> There's actually only six elephants here, and we have seven power balls. So one for each, and we save two for b a n g w a t Okay. <laughs> This one first. So the guy said to save bone before feeding uh, the elephant, and you have to feed it. Into their tongue, just like what I did before, but bone means up. Mm, okay. So that way they just lift bon. their head up and open their mouth. Bone, bone, bone. Okay, we move to this one. One each. One each. Okay. One each. One each. Bon. <laughs> so slimy. Bone, bone. Wow. Thank you. Bon. <laughs> 
Tita. Tita, salud. You lick my hand. No, bon, 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 bon. Okay. We have our two lapas for Bama. Let's go. Yes. Oh, I like mine. Oh, Faha, please. No. Come on, Bama. Bama. Last one. Bon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Must be yummy, right? Oh, no, no be more. Sorry, no more. So, do you have fun? I had a wonderful day here. It was so nice to be able to spend time with Bam Wat and her friends. And if you wanted to do the same kind of elephant sanctuary tour we had, it is um, 1500 baht per person for a half day tour. So you can choose morning or afternoon, or they also have a full day package and it includes pickup from your hotel in Chiang Mai and drop off as well. But yeah, we loved the afternoon. Like it was just a couple hours, but it was really wonderful. Spending time with my sister. Yeah. <laughs> and we hope that you'll add Medeng to your list when you come to Chiang Mai next time. It's just an hour drive away, but it feels like you were just surrounded by nature and it's very beautiful here. As always, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. bye, -bye.